something. Time is 4.23, we're at Mount Pleasant. Tornado warning right in the path of the rotation. With a high precipitation, tornado warned storm approaching at roughly 50 miles per hour, my plan was to get east in front of the cell and shoot it as it flew by. But the storm made its right turn, putting my location back in its crosshairs. These are the scenarios where a storm chaser's risk of being killed is highly increased. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna come fast. We're right in its path. Power lines on the right side of the road. We've got escape routes every direction, but there's no winds here right now. See that RFD marching around on the right. Got some time before it gets here. Tornadoes moving your direction can appear deceptively slow. They can also seem further away. Leading this cyclone by a mile or more are powerful winds, heavy rain, and hail. soon guys it's coming this is where people get transfixed on these things and they just sit in their path all right guys we're gonna run away just because that thunder just told us to We've got plenty of time let's get out of here Time is 440, it's right behind us, heading this way. We're just gonna get right out of its path so that it doesn't drop any power lines on us. We'll watch it go by. Now it's probably gonna be the end of the show. In order to keep up with a tornado moving northeast as the crow flies at 50 miles per hour, on a gridded road network, you would need to drive a constant 71 miles per hour. That's assuming there's no stop signs, traffic, and your fictional vehicle can corner 90 degrees without reducing velocity. Come on guys, go, go, go. It's coming. You gotta go, lane's open. If you're in the path of this tornado, like I am, it would be wise to expect the powerful winds, heavy rain and hail, also slowing you down. It is creeping up on us. Imagine that. It's a weak tornado right now, but that could change in a second. Okay, I think we're clear. Not by much.
might come down right here. Tracking tornado tracked 42 miles across southeast Iowa, damaging several homes. With peak damaging wind speeds estimated at 130 miles per hour, it earned an EF2 rating. No injuries or fatalities have been reported yet. As evening storms surged into Illinois, ominous storm structures and severe thunderstorm warnings set off town sirens, creeping many people out while dazzling others. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! 